The 3D image of Fir'aun is here and it is the most shocking thing of the year. When you see the face, you will not believe this. Who does Fir'aun look like? How has 3D technology proved the promise of Allah true? Before going into the details of that, here is a little When the mummy of Fir'aun was discovered for the first time in 1898 in the Red Sea, the world was shocked. Artists and various computer software tried to use the face of that mummy to construct its face and see what it looks like. But all of them were different. For the first time ever, scientists from Paris and Egypt have collaborated to construct the face of Fir'aun scientifically and the world is shocked again. They took a CT scan of the skull of the actual mummy and added muscles, skin and fat in exactly the same way as in other humans. This is the actual face of Fir'aun, not just an estimate or speculation. And then they reversed the aging process. They took the face 50 years before his death and there it was. The face of the most cruel, the most arrogant Fir'aun of Egypt. This was the person about whom Allah promised to make a sign of Ibrat for generations to come. The scientists and the historians say that this face is a typical Fir'aun face. All the men of this royal family had strong jaws and big noses. History books say nothing about whether the members of the family looked attractive or not. But this particular Fir'aun, scientists had to admit, was pretty handsome. So what do we conclude brothers and sisters? A man incredibly rich, so wealthy that historians and researchers say that if we equate his wealth to the present time's currency, nobody has ever owned so much as he alone did. He was the king of one of the biggest kingdoms of that time. He was young and powerful and he had an attractive looking personality. He claimed himself to be God. Na'udhu Billah. What happened to his pride, his treasures and a good looking face? Was any of that there to help when Allah insulted him forever? When Allah took away his life, destroyed his kingdom and army and did not even let him have a space of a small grave where he could lie peacefully. Secondly, we could see that Allah has preserved him in the true sense, not just his body, his bones, his flesh, but also his face. The beautiful ayat of Surah Yunus is worth